Hello Adele friends, this is Ewell Humphreys. Glad to be with, with you again to share about a five or ten minute message with you from the Word of God. The Word that sets us free. The Word that will give us life and hope and help. I believe this is a word for somebody listening to this message. And I want to thank you. I want to tell you that we need to work. We, we need to wait before we work. We need to wait before we work. I mean by that we need to wait on the Lord before we go out to do our work in the world. The Bible says over in the book of uh, uh, Proverbs in the 16th chapter, verse 3, Commit your <coughs> works unto the Lord, and uh, he and you will uh, have your thoughts established. Commit your works, your life, to the Lord, and he will establish your thoughts, your thinking. And that thinking is very important. And I want you to think right because God wants to give you some thoughts. And those thoughts come from Him or are meaningful. However simple they may seem to you, they're meaningful. He gives us thoughts and as we think, so we are. And so let the Lord be your strength. Learn to wait on the Lord. Sarah Young in her book, Jesus Calling, said it's so important to demonstrate your faith by sitting quietly in the presence of the Lord. You demonstrate your faith in Him by sitting quietly in His presence. And we need to do more of that. We need to find time to sit quietly. Just be a few minutes perhaps, but quietly. Several times during the day to sit quietly and listen for Him and for His Word. You're sitting in His presence. And that's so important. We need to learn that because it is important that we learn to We'll wait before we work. Over in the Bible in the 12th chapter of Luke, it teaches us that we're not to just go out and worry about getting food and, and, and uh, shelter and clothes and feeding our family. We, we are so taken up with those things, I know. But we need to recognize what the Lord said. He said in here, take, he said it, uh, this word, I say unto you that you worry not about what you're going to, what your clothes that you put on your body. Consider the lilies of the field. They do not spin, but there are none as rayed like, like the, they are. Consider the ravens and the air, the birds. They neither sow nor reap, nor gather into barns. But your holy God, the Father, feeds them. And you are of much more value than many, many ver birds. And so I say unto you, Why should you worry when you cannot add one inch to your stature? You see, you can't change your life as far as many things about your life as God has made you. You can't change your appearance, your, your body. It's the way God made you. Be grateful for your body. Whatever it is, whatever color of skin might be yours, be grateful because it's the way God made you. And you're very precious in His sight. And you're made in His image. And He loves you very much. And He's going to live in you and guide your life. But you need to wait before Him. Wait on Him before you work. That's important to learn to wait on the Lord. Over in the Bible again in Isaiah in the uh, 26th chapter in verse 3 we read, we read again a word that's important to us and that word is that we need this word. Commit your works to the Lord and it will be established in your thinking. I said a while ago. He said in 26.3 of Isaiah uh, who, whose mind is stayed on you uh, blessed is that man whose mind is stayed on you because you will give him perfect peace he will give you perfect peace whose mind is stayed on Christ and so we need that, that staying peace that comes from God God will give you what you need he will give you what you need he will give you good things in this life he will give you good things he's going to give you some things that you need in regard to your your, your, your physical needs. One time a Sunday school teacher was teaching a class of little children and he was teaching about Lazarus and the rich man. And Lazarus was a poor beggar laid at his gate and the rich man had everything he wanted but he never would help the rich, the Lazarus. So the day came when Lazarus died and he went to heaven to be with the Lord. And the rich man died and he went to hell in the dark and the pit and the flame. And so the teacher said, now which one had you rather be? The rich man or Lazarus? And one of the boys said, well, I'll tell you what I believe. 
I'm leaving my life to be like the rich man while I was living, and I'd like to be like Lazarus when I die. <laughs> oh, too many of us are like that. We want to live like the rich man, have everything we need, doing everything we want, having everything we desire, doing it our way. But when we come to die, we want to go God's way. But see, the difference is very drastic. We need to learn to live as well as die in the Lord. We need to live as the Lord teaches us. And if He teaches us to live by faith, trusting God all the time, trusting Him by morning, noon, and night, trusting Him and realizing that we need just to wait before the Lord and God will work it out. If you're facing something right now and you can't seem to work it out, I tell you what you need to do, dear friend, spend a little more time waiting on the Lord before you go out trying to work it out. Wait before you work and God will bring you to pass. Give Him time. Believe. Trust in Him. Know that all is well. God loves you very much. I love you. And may the hand of the Lord direct your life and learn to wait before you work. Amen.